Hello. In this first unit, we're going to talk about ecosystems. The two main ideas from this unit is that, or that, ecosystems are the result of biotic and abiotic interactions, uh, and energy can be converted from one form to another. This first lesson is going to be just an introduction to ecosystems. A lot of this will probably be um, review from ecology. First being that in a predator-prey relationship, the predator is the one that eats the prey the cheetah, gazelle, bear, fish. We see if um, the populations of both affect the other because, again, if you don't have a um, predator, that prey population is able to spike. But then if that prey population drops, then we see the predator population dropping as well because it's losing its source of food. Symbiosis is a long and close a long-term and close interaction between two species in an ecosystem. The types of symbiosis include mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. In mutualism, both species benefit. In commensalism, only one benefits while the other one is unaffected. Most is just like, meh, you know, you could. Parasitism, only the one organism benefits, whereas the other one um, is negatively impacted. Competition can occur within or between species in an ecosystem where there are limited resources. And then resource partitioning is a way to minimize competition by basically sharing the resources. Maybe it means they feed at different times or they feed at slightly different places in that ecosystem. Maybe they use that resource in different seasons or something like that. So this way they can use the same resource, but not all at once. Intraspecific competition is between members of the same species. So maybe they, they're they fighting over mates. They're fighting over a source of food um, that's specific to the that type of organism. Interspecific competition is between multiple species. So like in this example, multiple species use this watering hole. And so we call it interspecific competition. So this is an example of resource partitioning. So in this one one shore, different species will feed or um, or drink water like at the different areas. And this way they can all use the beach, but they're not getting in each other's way. And they can all eat whatever they need to eat. This is another example showing the uh, different types of warblers, how they hang out and feed at different parts of the tree. Okay, so that's the first video. That wasn't so bad. Uh, for the summary, I want you to go back to the objective, which was to explain how the availability of resources influences species interactions, and then put it in your own words.